Hi there, welcome to the Beamer Tech channel. My name is Nathan and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the different generations of iDrive that are in your BMW. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and get started. BMW is constantly improving their iDrive systems with advances in the head unit hardware, faster processors, and better user interfaces. Beamer Tech offers a wide range of retrofit systems, so you can always have the newest iDrive tech in your car, including Apple TV, CarPlay, and screen mirroring. If you're looking to upgrade your iDrive system, the first thing you need to figure out is which system your car is running. So the main iDrive iterations are CCC, CIC, NBT, and NBT Evo consisting of ID4, ID5, and ID6 iterations. CCC is going to be the oldest generation of iDrive and is found in BMWs built earlier than 2010. So if your car runs CCC, you're going to be pretty limited in what you can do with your head unit tech-wise. CCC doesn't offer 3D navigation and it's incompatible with any CarPlay or screen mirroring. And it also only allows you to play music via CD or auxiliary cord, which can be pretty frustrating because new phones sometimes don't even have an auxiliary port. CIC is next in the lineage of iDrive systems and can be found in BMWs up until around 2014 with a few exceptions. CIC has an updated homepage layout in addition to the updated high resolution screen and better graphics. Depending on your activation package, it can be configured with enhanced Bluetooth, which means pairing multiple devices, streaming music, and hands-free calling. Bluetooth music streaming is an upgrade from CCC, but you still can only choose previous or next in your song options. There's no option to pick a specific song from your playlist, so a lot of people opt for a newer system. CIC is also the first system that allows you to play DVDs straight through the head unit, so that's really cool. Um, upgrading to a CIC system from CCC is going to require a hardware upgrade including screen, head unit, iDrive controller, and trim. If you have CIC and you want to upgrade from that, it's going to be a jump to either NBT or the NBT EVO system, which is what we'll talk about next. NBT and NBT EVO ID4 are going to come next in the iDrive lineup. The system has a similar layout to CIC, but has much better display resolution and screen contrast, as well as updated icon graphics. It also has a 200 gig hard drive rather than the previous 80 gigs, which allows for improved startup time, as well as just better smoother operation. Other new user-friendly controls are a nice upgrade, like being able to choose a specific song from your playlist through the interface itself. Previously, you were limited to just previous song and next song controls. Keep in mind that between NBT and NBT EVO ID4, the functionality is going to be pretty similar as well as the interface, but NBT EVO ID4 is going to be a lot better screen resolution. It's going to be sort of a facelifted, streamlined version of NBT. NBT and NBT EVO ID4 also offer a really nice iDrive touch controller if you drive an F-Series model. To upgrade from CIC to NBT or NBT EVO ID4, it's going to require the typical hardware upgrades I talked about before, like a new screen, a head unit, an iDrive controller, as well as some trim pieces throughout. If you have NBT and you want to upgrade even further, then we're going to get into NBT EVO ID5 and ID6, which is what we'll talk about next. Next in the lineup is the most advanced iDrive system, NBT EVO ID5 or ID6. Upgrading from any previous system to the ID5 or ID6 system is going to be a really drastic difference for interface aesthetics as well as performance and functionality. The new screen allows for full screen zoom with no black edges on the sides, whereas previous generations would have had black edges so you're not really utilizing your whole screen. ID5 and ID6 also introduce features like CarPlay and phone mirroring on top of all the features available in previous generations. This is definitely going to be the best option if you want to keep your car up to date with current technology trends with ultimate communication and compatibility between your smart devices and your BMW. This upgrade is going to require a new screen most of the time. Some models can use the older screen, but it's usually going to require a screen, a head unit, the new iDrive touch controller, as well as trim. To sum things up, it's going to be easier to laterally jump from something like CCC to CIC or from NBT to NBT EVO, but that doesn't mean you can't jump from older generations like CIC straight to EVO ID5. These retrofits will just be a little more in-depth and a little more costly, but it's worth it if you want to integrate that awesome new technology into your car. In the end, it's best for you to figure out what you're looking for personally in your upgrade so that you can pick the best Beamer Tech retrofit option that suits your lifestyle, your technology needs, as well as your car itself. So thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you understand the differences between some of these iDrive systems for your BMW. If you have any questions about the upgrade, feel free to comment below and we'll help you out. Or you can go to the Beamer Tech website and they'll be able to run your VIN for you and figure out exactly what you need for your upgrade. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you liked the video and stay tuned for more Beamer Tech content in the future.